वेलकम टू यू युवर सुगा एस सी पी यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब चैनल फॉर मोर वीडियोस एंड टू गेट द रियल टाइम सपोर्ट फॉर फ्यू डेज टुडे टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट क्वांटिटी कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एंड शेड्यूल एंड अग्रीमेंट वाट द क्वांटिटी कॉन्ट्रैक्ट इट इज एन अग्रीमेंट बिटवीन कंपनी एंड कस्टमर फॉर सप्लाइंग गुड्स ऑफ पर्टिकुलर क्वांटिटी विद इन ए स्पेसिफिक वैलिड पीरियड ओके इन प्रीवियस क्लास विज इन वैल्यू कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एंड वैल्यू मेटीरियल स्पेसिफिक for the value contract it is also agreement between customer company for supplying of goods per particular value within a valid specific valid period so here the whatever is it quantity okay whatever the quantity whatever the material the value shouldn't cross more than the contract value same like the here here we have here without value okay whatever the value the quantity will shouldn't cross more than the quantity contract okay schedule and agreement It is also agreement between customer and company for supplying of goods, particular quantity within specific valid period. Okay, particular quantity within specific valid period, different delivery dates. Okay, we can't do um, any time. Okay, customer will, customer he will specify the when we have to dispatch the quantity. For example, hundred quantity, thirty uh, quantity in June, thirty quantity in August remaining, thirty uh, quantity in November, twenty uh, quantity up to thirty. remain in tank on december customer will say why when we have to dispatch okay here quantity contract we can dispatch any time there is no valid uh, specific valid period we can dispatch any time but here we are we have to dispatch particular time only okay we will see in sap how it will work first we have to create the contract order type The T code is B O V eight. Okay. The standard contract type is quantity contract type is Q C. The standard one is Q C. We'll copy the Q C and we'll create our own Y one Q C. Already exit with. So Y one Q one. Click on Enter. Save. Okay. Next, what we have to do? This contract document we need to assign sales area. Okay. In previous class, we seen order to cash and credit payment, debit memo, and cash sale rush order. Okay, return. How we create the flow? Same like that. We have to do config here for quantity contract. O V A Z T code. Okay, go to O V A Z. Go to new entries. This is sales organization distribution channel division. And uh, sales document type Y one Q one. It already exit because of we copied from QC right, so automatically it will copy. Okay. If we ignore the pop up, it won't copy. Y D Y R Y one Q one. See already did there. The next step, we need to create the one item category. So the standard one is W W Kaswari K M N. Copy this. Create your own Y one Q one. Click on S. Here it has to be okay. It has to be C. Completion rule. Okay, it has to be C. Save. This item category we need to assign sales document type. So now the item category determination. What the T code for item category determination? Vivo, Vivo V4. I'm going to Vivo V4. Go to position Y1 Q1. N O R M. 
I'm removing this. I'm assigning my item category. I'm saving now. Okay. Now I'll create one contract. The T code to create the contract VA forty one. How we know this? Uh, we know VA forty one. We we are in Vivo. We had we are the transaction group. Okay. In transaction group, we assigned four. Okay. If you assign four means we have to create this document VA forty one. If you assign zero, we have to create in VA zero one. If you assign two, we have to create in VA twenty one. Okay. It will decide where we have to create. So if four means we have forty one. We have to create four means contract. Here also see G G means contract. Okay, contracts we have to create. We have forty one. The tick code is we have forty one. This is the order type. Y one Q one sales are distribution channel division. This is my customer valid from and valid to. This material and this material I'm going to sell. This is the twelve quantity. This is the ten quantity. Okay. P O number. Now I'm saving this. So this is my contract number. I'm copying the contract number. V A forty three to display the contract. Now I'm going to create the sale order for this contract. The T code V A zero one to create the sale order. This is my order type. Okay, click on create with reference. If you not click, we have to enter. We have to fill. Okay, if you click this, system will copy the data from contract. So I am pasting the contract number. I am click on copy. See, system is copied. Okay, now I am doing uh, six quantity. I am doing now. Six to six quantity. I am doing doing now. And this material, eight quantity. So I am doing delivery invoice. Schedule lines. Go to VA zero two. Slash and VA zero two. When the order is second is locked by batch. Slash and V A zero three. When it is confirmed, check the schedule line. May two. Okay, May two. Okay, I am creating the delivery on May two. May two. Okay, click on enter. Go to picking tab. This factory calendar I covered in one class. You can refer that. Next class, uh, uh, two more two more three days. I will going to cover factory calendar. Based on the factory calendar, dates will define. Okay. Now I am doing PGA. Now I am creating invoice. Okay. Now we will see the contract. I am going to VA forty three. See, this is our quant. This is our target quantity. How much we done? Six and eight. Okay, I am creating one more sale order with with reference of contract again. So the remaining, we'll see how much it will take. Copy. See. So out of all six we done, out of ten, eight we done. So remaining six. If I am trying to change the quantity eight, system has to throw error, right? Because of it is crossing the more than contract value, but system is throwing warning message. So we need to convert this warning message to error message. Okay. Some standard message types we have the control from functional side. We can manually we can change warning to error, error to warning. But some t uh, some message types we don't have access. For example, this is V one five zero one right. V one five zero one. If you get so we have to take the else from the above to change warning to error. Okay, how how we know mean? Go to SC ninety one. What is the application V one? So whenever you get the error, the first digit is the application. The number is the the next is the error number. So we got V one five one five zero one right. This is ours. Okay, click on change. See, this is the this error we got. Target quantity reference of reference one and two, 
So this is just to pass the warning message. But we need the error message. Okay. If you see here, this is the program. In this program, the changes is there. Okay. If you tell to a buffer, they will change the warning to error. You can see here warning is there. So we need to change. Okay. We need to convert warning to error. So what they will do? Yeah, they they will remove W and they will maintain E. We don't have access to to that. If we have access, we can also do. But we don't have access. We have access key, but I think I don't have access key. No correct access. So we have access. We can do that. But it has to convert warning to error. A buffer can help. Okay. How we can know that means in next class I'm going to cover uh, error messages. How to convert warning to error, error to error. How we can find the warning messages. If uh, how we can create the new error messages. Okay. If client is asking you want do you don't want this description. You want different kind of description. So based on the client requirement, we have to change the error name. Okay. That how we will do. We will cover in next class. Okay. And, uh, error messages. So some some error messages we have controls. For example, I am going to OVH. With application V4, if you're getting this this error, if you remove W and if you maintain E, system throw the error. W means warning, E means error. So some this application V4. Previously we got application V1. Okay, some uh, some error message we have control, some we don't have control. We have to take from the buffer to convert warning to error or error to warning. You can see here. I'm again creating the contract with reference of. Here, if I am changing this, v v one is application five zero one the number. Okay. Now I am doing the for six quantity only. Now I am saving. If you see the contract, we have forty three. The quantity is target quantity and the order quantity is reached. Okay. So. Contract also completed. If we again, if you trying to create the one more cell adder with reference of contract, system will throw the error. The reference has already fully completed. That means already quantity completed. This is the quantity contract. Okay. Next, we'll see schedule and agreement. Okay, we'll create on schedule and agreement document type. The standard is DS. We'll copy the DS and we'll create our own Y1 DS. Click on S. Save. Continue. Where we have to create this document? If three, three means V A thirty one. We have to create. Okay, we have to uh, we have to create in V A thirty one. E means schedule an agreement. Okay, e means schedule an agreement. This schedule an agreement we need to assign sales area. The T code is O V A Z. First we will see if the already assigned or not. Y O ten, Y D, Y R. Y1 DS. Y1 DS is there. Y1 DS. It is already assigned, so don't need to assign here. Now we will create an item category for schedule line. The standard is LPN. We will copy LPN. We create our own. Y1 DS save this item category we need to assign schedule and agreement document type okay the T code to do the item category determination is V O V four V 
we will be free. I'm going to be where we for go to position y1 ds and orm remove lpn assign your item category y1 ds i'm saving now okay now we'll create one contract t code is va31 y1 ds is my customer valid from valid from valid to this material this material this material i am going to sell this is the 10 quantity this is the 9 quantity this is the 5 quantity go to the schedule lines mm, dates we can fix here wow may to i can do on delivery 2023 how much quantity five quantity i will do okay for this material for this material out of 10 5 4 i am doing um september i will do two quantity so remaining four quantity i will do in november okay so we will create on schedule and also wait we will be six we'll copy this cn means no mrp cp means mrp y yd if you have production we have to maintain cp if there is no production we have to maintain cn so okay This schedule line we need to assign to item category. What is the T code for item category? Uh, sorry, uh, what is the T code for schedule line determination? VO V5. Go to VO V5 item category Y1 DS. Okay, ND. So, metal mask level we maintain ND. ND means no planning. So, um, if it is a PD, we have to maintain. Uh, in middle master level we have to maintain pd if it is a production with production is there we have to maintain pd so we have to copy the schedule and cp from cp we have to copy and we have to create new that new one we have to assign with combination of pd okay now i am assigning yd here i am saving now now let me create one more once again contract uh, schedule and agreement va31 y1 ds is my document type Added from value to this material, this material, this material I am going to schedule. This is the 10 quantity, this is the 5 quantity, this is the 7 quantity. Do in a header level schedule and let me see it is allowed. Header level is going to schedule. on may to september and november out of 10 4 3 uh, remaining 3 okay see children also wait hours only item category y1 ds hours only next material 5 point out of 5 may to okay may 27 um, september and uh, December uh, one quantity, two quantity, and three quantity. The schedule and quantity is larger than the term. The total six are uh, okay. I'm changing to two okay because of a target quantity five. You can't you do one plus more than five quantity. Okay, next. Uh, this I don't want in May, sorry, May, number only two, okay. One is two, one is five. Now I am saving. I think some incompletion. You number something we need to enter. So let 
we have to create one delivery type and billing type or else we can use uh, for example we can use existing one uh, whatever it is there in a view of it will come currently y1 ds what delivery and uh, L currently lf and f2 is there so we can use that or else you can create your own delivery type in ovlk assign here and you can create new billing type and you can assign you can assign here I will show you the next no problem what I am doing now I am creating delivery VL 0 1 and see May 2 May 2 I am getting only one okay I am getting only one material because of if you see the schedule line VA 33 mm, if you take the first material uh, one material we have to do four quantity uh, after the later uh, after september 12th only we have to do before september 12th uh, there is no de uh, delivery there is no schedule line here uh, after may 27th we have we have we have to dispatch on material before 27th there is no okay there is no material here also before so in delivery level we will get only one material in this four quantity so i am doing now okay pj and invoice okay again i am going to create one more delivery on may 30 okay may 30 i am doing or else uh, june 30 so i got two materials one material 27th is there that's it got it only two and now i am doing bj so based on the schedule line okay we can do the delivery how uh, we know the means in, in you can see here in uh, children agreement we are 33 here dates is there so here out of this uh, one we done delivery remaining three is there so after september 12th okay you can after september 12th only we can do the dispatch three quant rls two dollars if i am trying to do 11th september we are zero one and 11th september 11th september see how many metals will get see 99 will not get see there is no material 11th okay after 12th only we have the schedule line so what i'm doing maintain 12th see two metals came one meter two quantity one metal so you can i hope you have understood this so uh, here whatever dates we define in schedule agreement whatever dates we, we define after that equal to or after okay equal to or after that day only we can do the dispatch before for example the 30th november right before 30th number we can't dispatch three quantity after 30th november only we can dispatch okay the second material uh, year to after uh, December 30 before December 30 we can't dispatch after December 30 only we can dispatch if I take December 31st December 31st two quantity I can dispatch and uh, in this material three quantity I can dispatch two middle I can do because of after November 30 we can dispatch before it is not possible okay this one after okay after 30th we can dispatch before it's not possible here it is it is uh, it is also after uh, november 30 now i'm doing delivery on december 31st december 31st december 31st low every all middle will get that now see three meter uh, three quantity three quantity okay all right so what i do well zero one and i will do on uh, 24 2024 24 january 31st so before if it date is not reached it won't come okay now i'm saving we'll see the car line again we 33 the first one is fully completed seems to be uh, fully completed the second one two is pending why the third one it is completed the second one two is completed two quantity we have to dispatch 
on December 30th, right? VL01N 30th December 1 quantity we are we are pending so that two I am doing okay everything is completed now we are 33 you can see okay we are 33 you can see order quantity 10 completed compare this see target quantity 10 order quantity 10 so everything is completed okay if you're trying to create one more delivery system not allowed because of everything is completed okay this is the scheduling agreement next class i'm going to cover free goods and let me free of charge and subsequent delivery free of charge once again thank you all for your time please subscribe to channel for more videos and to get the real time support for a few days thank you all for your time and watch the video